Hi, old beaver. Away. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chris Cast. We have the grand final of season 32 of UGC European Highlander. This is the platinum division, the top tier of UGC. And in the grand final are two very familiar names. We have Super Dickman's Kanonen versus Gimme Opponent. But we see the rosters on the screen. And um, actually, as I said, lots of familiar faces. You can see the picks and bands up on the screen right now. This is the grand final of season 32 UGC. This is the European Platinum Division between SCCK and Gimme Opponent. Gimme Opponent are going to be in the blue. SCCK in the red and the mid fight is just a slow paced affair here Buck and Meza is just going to be picked off on the flank. Yeah they're looking pressure actually coming into this pool side already from uh, Kautke and from Snow here. Jacqueline taking a lot of damage from trouble. Clark trying to help out on the flank interestingly enough as well just uh, with his mini just staying behind in the main area. But Prazu and Barth is going down very early here and Mastrona going down as well. It means Tertia is the only person in the combo. Crits comes out onto a scout. And uh, Getty was way out of there. Not really much you're going to get with a, a crit scout there in Highlander on a map like this. So, uh, yeah, not, not really going in their favor. Yeah, um, I, I, love the, uh, I love the attempt there. I mean, Kaza really just opening up that mid fight, taking out the demo and the heavy. And at that point, who do you use your crits on? You've got to use it early before the enemy gets uber. So Sam was the only real opportunity there on the scout. Um, and I like Sandburn using that really cheeky spot on the far side, just getting some pressure down onto the point, and it is going to be initial cap for SDCK here. Um, let's not forget, this has been uh, Gimme Opponent's map choice, so they'll be looking to maybe assert themselves here and, and make sure they set themselves set up you know, for the, for the next couple of maps, potentially. Yeah, definitely, and uh, at the moment we seem like there has to be a long rotation in here on this far side of the point from Gimme Opponent that's going to sort of set themselves up. Tertia trying to juke some of the shots there, but he uh, doesn't go down for now. He's 100% even with the other medic. Prazer's going to be looking to go in here. They've got crits on the demo. They're all going to be sitting in the corner. They use Uber here on the side of Gedu. going to be sort of using that onto Yahoo there to try and reflect some of that damage back. Kazza does importantly go down though, and uh, so does Murphy. Maybe some opening picks here. Yeah, that's a big pick from Kavka. Uh, tagged up as Keski in the server at the moment. Huge pick onto Kaza, and that just allowed much more space for Stingan, and he was able to get that shot onto Murphy. So losing your sniper and your demo, you really don't have that much point presence when you're doing this pool hold. And you can see, there we go, Pyro going down. <laughs> Daddy is actually Yahoo. I'm not going to call him Daddy. I'm going to call him Yahoo, but I'm sure <laughs> you can agree with me there. Um, but there are frags happening all over the server right now. And because Tercy is running the crits, he's at 90% already. Gedu is only at 60%. And you can see they're trying to get aggressive here. They are going to get the cap, but they're going to get Crystal now. Ooh. Oh, they get the sticky end onto the demo. I think Murphy goes down. Mesa taking a bit of a reflect there from Yahoo as he reflects all of the crits back in his face. He lives for now. Sandman goes down as well. Managed to get some point pressure here. The demo does go down though. May has no fear. Gonna be trying to take that 1v1 with Snow on the on the point. Snow getting some nice meat shots in there, making the fear coming back forwards as uh, Clark trying to spam some shotgun over the point. And there we go. The Uber comes out to the mate. They're kind of trying to run into the cliff here. This is brave. They're going so deep here, Clark. Involved oh. in the Uber. Clark of the season getting onto the Medic Tercio is on fire, but no, oh, they end up losing so many plays. Gedu goes down there. Um, Yahoo is going to get a couple of kills, but I don't think they're going to be very happy with that. They've capped the point as well, Buck, which, as we know, when you're in control of the point, your respawns are significantly extended. Tercio, so weak, oh, uses God. that crit. I mean, I don't know why he uses that, because you're not going to, like, save get yourself from dying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Might as well just stood still and taunted with the Chris Creek and got some health back, but that Chris has been wasted, and if SCCK know that, they may be tempted to just push this dry. Yeah, I feel like that crits, like, I don't know, maybe a bit of a panic there from Tertia. Maybe he forgot he was on crits for a second, just wanted to use Uber, like, instinctively, subconsciously, sometimes it happens. But there we go, Mezzo coming in with a big stab there onto the Medic, and the Yahoo just holding that Dubiki straight into that pull. So, yeah, not having that crits, definitely a bad thing there. I mean, Bath is going to peek that corner with that crits, maybe, and kill the entire team, for example. But, mm. uh, yeah, maybe you're going to be kicking themselves for that as uh, SCCK come back onto this point. Well, we saw how effective Praz was when he had that crits and managed to get a couple of kills when they pushed aggressively across the point. And, you know, SCCK, the question is, uh, they had two choices there. They either had to wait, which would have given Gimme Opponent a lot more time, you know, catching up, you know, with, with the time stakes. Mm -hmm. But also, if SCCK had just done exactly what they did, then, like you said, use the crits onto Praz or Bathis, and you just mow them down. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's going to put them quite far behind it. 50 seconds behind already, 100% in the hands of Gedu. So big, big uber advantage. And Tercio just 
standing behind the point right now. He is actually on the medigun now, Buck. So uh, they're trying to fight fire with fire, and they yeah dropping people out of their Zuba. See, this is the thing I've seen before. Capcare and Frazu so good at their job, so good at spamming in. I say that Jackie Lake trying to return the favor here. Gets a big conch jump in. Doesn't manage to find anything though, unfortunately. And Tertio on 100% here, still managing to live. It's going to be coming back in with this Uber. I wasn't going to worry about because it's just for a second, but they're going to be on the point trying to pressure it out. So no trying for it. There we go. Stingam rings out the headshot to Getty. But Mezzo is trying his best to try and get a force here onto Tertio. But balls of steel from that man. He does actually. Uh, used it in the end. I think he wants to be aggressive going into pool and just cleaning up these kills. Um, Kazu is going to take down Stingham, but all the other kills are just going to be going down in the favor of Gimme opponent. Tercio, though, gets cleaned up by May just at the end there, and they've capped, which means they're not going to have heals for an extended period of time here. Seven second respawn um, on Stingham, Tercio, and Praz, and those are really, really key players. Uh, forgive me, opponent. And then the situation. I think SCCK. Twelve seconds left on the buck. So uh, twelve seconds left on the buck. On the clock, <laughs> buck. Uh, they're just going to go towards the point. They can just try and cap. Yeah, they're coming up these stairs now on these front stairs, trying to take the same options that give me opponent did. But they're taking so much damage here. Samo goes down immediately there. So that corner peek from Bath. There's also the nice pipes coming from Prazi. Definitely putting all their pressure onto Prazi here, but he's doing a good job of it so far, putting out a lot of the damage. They're getting spammed out by Capcur as lot as well when he comes back in. He's trying to try to reflect some Jack Legs rockets coming through that door as well. Kaza trying to peek the ramp and see what he can get, but he's making it very hard. So many weak players. Let's see and the minute goes down. Yeah, Gadget was so weak and just gets pistol down there. Um, big jumping from Jackie Lynx trying to get something done. Actually does take down Bath here somehow. Um, it's just absolute chaos on the point right now. Tercy is only at 85%, so it's going to try and keep his players alive with heals alone. Arrowing across Price is going to take down Murphy, but Mezzo is just... I swear this man's got more kills with his revolver this game um, so far than his knife. He is just cleaning up players left, right, and center. Sandburn is trying to get aggressive here, but SCCK with overtime now in our activation they just need to capture the point as we see Kaza trying to get the Girati in through the doorway they're just trying to scare people away and there we go Bath is, is going to go down to the headshot yeah, and uh, there we go the force comes out as well kind of onto Tertio he's going to be walking across the point is he going to find much with this they might be kicking themselves again for that these users have not been that great Stambit goes down though with the help of swipes in the back line Jacko's coming in the very returned one they're four down though already lost their demo lose their spires as well they've got decent heals on the point still for now but Oh, it's looking, it's looking very sketch. The respawn advantage is in the favor of SCCK, and Tercio dying right at the end of the fight there means a really, really long respawn for him. Um, still not up, neither is Strono, the Pyro, and there we go, SCCK, not much resistance on the point, able to just cap it out and take that first round, but pretty close, Buck, like five seconds between the two of them, essentially. That that was close, and give me a penny, could be happy with that. I think SCCK going to try and like use that as a bit of a lesson to try and warm mm. up and uh, focus prize like they know he's doing so much work with his crits and if they, they know how to counter crits Jack Legs has done it millions of times before so we're putting more focus onto that and we'll have to see how this goes for now as uh, this early sort of pool pressure comes in we see the uh, new, new MGE map it's going to be a lakeside pool uh, yeah, Jack Legs and Kafka going head to head but yeah just a couple of kills spread across the two teams here and I'm just trying to take a look at the mediguns we do see Gedu is on the default as is Tercius. So maybe the maybe the crits um they're deciding against it. Kaza getting that kill onto Stingan is just gonna tempt people to go forward and get some camp time. May taking the heals and getting the camp time and that's gonna be enough for SCK to essentially win at that mid fight. And Kaza on this pillar is uh, something to be worried about but there we go a couple of players going down yahoo and samba getting picked off pretty quickly and the uber is going to be used and traded on the point here buck and at the moment it's just kaza doing all the work yeah kaza finding these heads is uh, helping him out a lot in terms of the damage over the point boss is trying to do his best to try and ward off any uh, attackers coming in here may getting picked off eventually but uh snow just walks in to get you might go down here eventually gets that pick so big play from snow there uh, on the scout first, trying to find that as uh, Tertius is going to be peeking the point. He's speaking everything about his head, but they do get the point for now. That's the difference between seeing like a pool hold, which for me, pool hold has its weaknesses, especially you know, getting that cap time on the far side. But SCSK weren't doing a pool hold in that situation, they were standing on the point, and 
Give me opponent are just playing almost like you know vintage envision. You know, back in the day when they had Dito playing on demo, and they would just walk forward at every opportunity. And that's what they did there. They were just like, right, let's go in forward and take a fight. That's what they wanted to do. And it looks like SSK are trying to do the same here. Get this cap without actually doing anything too aggressive. They're just teasing it little by little. Clark and May just taking it in turns to try and get onto the point. The Uber <laughs> is still in the hands of Tercio. Getty doesn't have it, and that's why they don't really want to overly commit here. They're taking so much damage for it though. Snow's doing such a good job of trying to pressure onto the point. And A6 trying to block the point as well, just with their own bodies. But Atertia, you're getting forced out here. He has to use on Strono. Kind of think about where he wants to go. Grabs the pack and pull and decides to leave for now. Uh, not really sure how all the sort of other players can give me opponent died. There may be a bit of feeding going on in the battle lines, but getting caught out. But they get a decent amount of uh, caps on this point. I feel, and I don't know if you agree, but give me opponent are playing better at the moment. Um, as a unit, their yeah. one weakness has been their uber uses. It I seems agree, like yeah. their crits and their ubers, they don't really have any sort of purpose with them. For example, that one, you know, they were they were getting good frags, they were getting good damage, but then they end up using uber when they're running four up, and they have no hope of you know, controlling or defending the point. So at the moment, SCCK not playing at their best, perhaps, Oof. as they start to use this uber here. Praz getting taken down by Mezzo very, very early on, um, but Murphy jumping forward is going to be met face to face with a mini sentry getting wrangled and you don't really want to try and out dm that um but yeah give me opponent now have an uber advantage rough to see if they're they can actually do anything that's coming on the far side again um which is quite far away from pool room yeah getty gets out in the face of stinghound as well so i'd be pretty happy with that as um they try to press onto this point they get a lot of caps on here but there we go murphy coming out to the point so much damage coming in on the side of the stairs there, and this is the one problem, like you were saying about them playing as a unit, but there was that one time earlier where Prazi was just kind of on the front stairs, close to the pool door, alone, without anyone else, but they need mm. to try and play around him, I feel, and uh, get that pressure in and just give him the heals, because Tertio isn't giving them, and he, he goes for a bit of a bomb run that they're around the bat, but that doesn't really find too much. Stingan, yeah, though. I mean, Stingan, yeah, starting to turn on a little bit here. Three kills, and he takes down Kaza, and uh, Gedu just getting to that 100%. He's going to use it immediately just to try and keep his players alive. A lot of pressure coming in through that doorway, and May is looking for some kills to try and get. Can't get anyone, and actually Stingan is going to headshot him. So, you know, that Uber getting absolutely no value. Uber advantage in the hands of Tercio again, and, and SCK just not in a good position right now. Asics with the revenge quiz is going to take down Yahoo. And SCK are kind of like in the position where you want to be if you're in control of the point. Um, and oh, I'm looking at Sanzo. <laughs> Sanzo with the flank takes down Praz and Asics. Huge play, flanking heavy. And uh, there we go, a couple more kills from SCK. And this is what we talk about, but when you get to these games, you have big players capable of big moments, and Samba coming up there and almost just winning his team this fight. Yeah, that was kind of a throw from Frazzy, not gonna lie. He missed some pipes and uh, the sticks were going right past him, so no damage onto that heavy. But I mean, yeah, there we go. They used the Uber onto Barfus, not sure why they didn't leave earlier, and there we go. Tertia goes down for it. Just, you're never gonna want to use on the heavy there on that point. They're just gonna all kite it. There's so much cover for them to use and just kite around, and uh, it's gonna find anything there. Getty comes up to that 100%. Back in the pool room again, and uh, yeah, Jackie Legs sort of opting for a bit more of an aggressive hold here with his team, and uh, it's looking pretty comfortable in the pool for now. Just watching Mezzo being so aggressive, just taking a fight. He got hit with a flare, didn't care that he was on fire, just wanted to get the kill and managed to uh, get the kill onto Asuk. So, I mean, an NG pick isn't the biggest thing in the world, but it's allowed a lot more pressure on this far side. Sting and going down, but most importantly, Tercio. The heals are out of the game right now for Guinea opponent. Oh my and god. 20 seconds to go. Mezzo just cleaning people up with a <laughs> revolver. That's all he's doing on this map. He's just waiting for a moment to just get those couple of revolver shots. That cleans them up. Jackie Lex is dying. He's on fire, but just get that health back and he's just stopping sting and oh no gets Girati, gets some pee in the face and then a crossbow but three seconds uh it was used on the point here buck and it's going to be a two nil lead for scck on give me opponents map choice oh, i started falling apart towards the end not gonna lie for give me mm. opponent like they just like there wasn't really comes where jackie was and then clark comes in for a flank as well like they need to just maybe sort of try and get the focus on the people who are behind on their side of the map first and then walk the way back in also might consider like them doing like not just the far side push maybe try and come in through main Like i have noticed that murphy's not really trapping it and like kaza isn't very passive in pool like they can actually try and come in from different angles here and not fear it so much so maybe they try that in the uh, in future but there we go three down already four down on this mid already for this tck this is a huge mid fight for give me a post I mean, they take Jackie Legs, Yahoo, and Murphy out of the equation almost instantly. Like, Demo 
Uh, sorry, yeah, demo, pyro, and soldier, like, like just removes any sort of aggression you've got going across the point. And then after that, they were able to get some pressure. Jackalix with the fast rollout, it does actually take down the scout. That's pretty big. And look, because Geddy survived, they want to start pressuring this already. They've got their heels behind the point. Um, looking at the Jurati being thrown across. Do you see Murphy and Yahoo covered in that urine right now, Buck? But uh, it is going to be giving the opponent happy to just take the pool and defend the point as an uber exchange is going to come in onto sand oh god tersho what is he doing he drops his demo in the uber can't be doing that son Sandberg just peeks the corner that's a free pick for him but yeah there's so many like people bleeding for gimme opponent outside the pool there there's some like the cliff side in front being aggressive they all get picked up and like you know even if jackie goes down to one health if he lives it's still a victory for him so he'll take that any day of the week and there he goes spawn has come through and now it's a slight out for Gidu again this is what we saw happen on the first round, right? You know, they, they had this pool hold, they had control of the point, they had Uber, and then they just lost too many people before they decided to use the Uber. Yeah. Um, we see Jackie Legs with the aggression. He's going to take down Sting in here, and Kafka is behind, just lurking on the bats. May is going to go on the hunt to try and take down that soldier, and uh, I think with some help from Clark, the two of them will combine and maybe take him out. And it's just... I feel the pool hold is good, but it has its weaknesses and you have to understand those weaknesses and if your flank is dying and you're not using your uber to help protect the point and your flank then you're just kind of baiting and you end up in the situation where you use an uber it gets nothing and you also lose the point and you know it, that really shouldn't be happening on a cough map you want to be getting aggressive and you can see at the moment SCK, oh this my is God. what they're doing they get a couple of kills and then they spread out oh! to the point was that a drop i just heard on tertio oh yeah. my god what is going on with Tertia? They're going to be kicking themselves with a Jorge at this rate. This is actually kind of crazy. I'm not even... This this can't be happening at this level. Can't be happening when you're playing against SDCK. They can be this aggressive. It's all reactive plays. And the aggression coming out of SDCK over the point, they don't fear. They just don't fear and they get in their face and they get the damage done and the flank is playing out of their mind as well. So, yeah, it's just, oh. it's just going all going downhill. Oh, God, it happened again. Kaza being aggressive, manages to hit that body shot, full charge, looking in from Paul, takes down Tercio again, and I don't want to say that's GG for this map, but with 120 to go for SCC, they have a full charge here, it's going to take a mammoth of a, of a push, an exchange, something has to happen here from Gimme Opponent to get themselves back into this round, and this map, it just... As I was saying what Gimme Opponent needed to do when they're holding pool room, SCCK started doing it and, you know, Tertio drops to May, the scout of all things, just because he was able to have that space and that aggression. Jackie yeah. Lakes takes down Sting and again, they just don't have the sniper presence because they just don't have the time to do anything they want. Kaza on a five kill streak right now. At the moment, they've got the force buck and Gimme Opponent need to win everything from here on in in order to get anything on this, uh, on this map. I think I can tell Prazio is starting to get impatient as well with the plays that he's making. I think the comms are kind of going a bit down as well, and like it's the reason why Stingen's getting a bit caught out because obviously the team's not able to protect him. Like they're just not really responding that quickly to the like the threats that are coming in. Look, Prazio's just dweaking into the door there, but May's just shooting him in the back. Like there needs to be some active response here to these flank players. You can't ignore these flank players. They do a lot of damage not only in sixes but also in Highland if you give them that space. And uh, Mezzo's just kind of walking a tertiary, gets the face stab or side stab. I don't even know what is happening right now. He got healed. He gets the assist oh, on his God. own death. As a medic, man, you never want to be healing the spy that kills you. It's uh, y you hate to see it, but I mean, I was just, I was just before that happened, Buck. I was gonna say, give me opponent doing exactly what they need to do, looking a lot better. Um, but it, it all just gets thrown away in in moments. Um, 15 seconds for SCK on this first map. This is Gimme Opponent's map choice, and uh, they need to do something in 10 seconds against a team with an Uber in order to uh, to have anything, and that Uber is going to be used on Kazarok of all people. Uh, but no, the cleanup is coming in. Mezzo, May, all time to get some kills, and that's going to be 3 0 on the first map. So uh, Lakeside definitely not going the way that Gimme Opponent would have preferred. They chose this map as their first pick, and it's gone whitewash to scck here three zero uh moving on to upward and we talked about this being potentially a best of one here buck uh picked by scck they do love their payload you said this could be a quick final yeah and i feel that's the way it's going abuse the flank is the uh is the call from buck if you're listening give me opponent we'll have to see if that happens for those of you just joining us this is the second map of the grand final Season 32 of the European Highlander Division. 
This is the top tier platinum of UGC. Both sides going pretty toe to toe throughout the season. SCCK actually finishing second in the regular season to Gimme Opponent, losing that regular season game on product and uh, working their way through to this grand final. Gimme Opponent picked their first map as Lakeside, which has gone very swiftly to SCCK 3 0. This is going to be upward. We believe this is going to be a best of one. So, one attack. Def one attacking phase for each team, one defending phase. We see SCC in the blue, so they'll be attacking first, trying to set a time, and then Gimme Opponent will try and beat that time. And whoever wins that will win the map. And of course, if that is SCCK, they will be taking home another Platinum title for their collection. Whereas Gimme Opponent need to win this map in order to take it to the third map, which is Asheville. And Buck, you thought it was going to be a fast final if we got to kind of this situation. And uh, do you have hope for Gimme Opponent here? I, the only hope I've got is the fact that they're starting on defense first. The reason being, I think they can kind of slow down a bit. Um, as I say, that Kaz just peaks the hill and instantly kills Stinger, and so that's probably not the greatest start. Uh, the flag has got all the space in the world ready to peak, and uh, Jack Legs is going to go in. Here we go. We've got all the bombers coming in, all the people coming in. There we go. Tersh again. Forced. Okay, this is probably the worst start they could possibly have hoped for. He didn't take any damage though. I don't know if he was trying to save his his players. Um, but Tertio didn't take any damage from mm. those bombs. Maybe there were stickies underneath him. Maybe yep, I didn't have an angle. I don't know. Um, but a few players are dying here for SCCK. Sting and running that Machina, which has of course allowed this season in UGC. Um, taking down Clark on the point. And you know, they're losing up a few players. It's going to buy them a few more seconds. We see Tertio already up to, excuse me, 50% as that Uber is going to be used by, by onto Murphy. And they're just trying to get the sentry down, which is being wrangled to all hell. And it takes a long time to go down. Ooh, nice return, sort of jump in there from the soldier. And there we go, Getty goes down there to uh, some from Bathers as well. So might be able to try and play off this heal advantage that they have. They're on 90% and they're four down. No demo, no heavy they have to worry about at the moment. They're going to try to rebuild and uh, they might be able to stabilize here eventually. But they've got Jackie Legs on this DH actually. Yeah, Jackie Legs just trying to get as much spam down, but obviously that DH focusing on the sentry. The sentry was down and there we go. Praz Ooh, is going to take down Murphy. Um, courtesy of that uh, Girati giving him the mini crits. But Stingham does go down to the direct hit, and uh, Chucky is just hitting these direct rockets onto people. Gets one onto Bath, he's forcing him to back away. And now he's pressuring Tercio. Can he get one? He does get the force. Tercio has to use him. Again, not taking any damage, but surely just to get out. Yeah, he's running away onto second, wants oh to live God. to fight another day. And what looks really good for Gimme Opponent just gets flipped on its head. Yeah, the hit scan clean up there was pretty big for SCCK, just uh, trying to get completely caught out, as well as uh, Prazu and Nulsus, uh, I think, on the side. But yeah, Tertio living here, but he wasn't healing for a good like 10 to 15 seconds there, so pretty big ad. Still running with DH from Jackie, he's getting very aggressive here, trying to lead the charge in for the team as uh, Murphy takes some uh, draw in there. He'll be delaying the push in, but taking a bit of damage here. Managed to get the soldier in this window area as uh, the scout comes in into the face of Sunburn. No pressure onto him. Let's remember it takes a long time for the cart to get from second to third here. And that aggression from Gimpion is actually baited out the Uber. So Uber being used onto Gedu, um, by Gedu, sorry, onto Murphy as they try to chase because Tercio and his team were very close. And the intel probably was, they're really close. We can use here and catch them out. However, they just back away. And that's actually really, really smart by Gimme Opponent. They're not going to be able to do much on this second point. That will go down. 247 is a pretty fast time for the first two points uh, for SCK case so far. Um, but it does mean Tertio has 100% Uber for third. The only thing is, like I said, it takes a long time to go from second to third. And by the time the cart's in position for SCK to think about pushing this slope area, um, they're going to probably have Uber anyway. Yeah, I guess they, they do get Meza though, so they haven't got those immediate comms on where exactly their position, but they probably know where the gun is by now. Stingan's kind of aggressive here. They're trying to wait for any sort of plays to come in. Also, bombing with this DH is slightly less effective, so Jack doesn't have that immediate option available. And as I say that, he does go down, so probably going to be swapping off after he respawns. But uh, Yahoo goes down as well, so they always have a few people here, but also still aggressive on this uh, sort of side platform area. Scout won't be one coming in up top as well, but Drawy going to mean that Snow leaves that area. And uh, yeah, even Uber's at the moment as well. <gasps> Ooh, big backstab from Swipes. He's going to take down Gedu just as he gets to 100% oh. there um, and manages to get the drop. Huge. And that is pretty huge. Tertio using the Uber for Gimme Opponent. They're going to start cleaning up some players here. Um, not getting as many kills as maybe you'd expect. They do get Clark, which, I mean, you kind of want to get more than an engineer with your Uber. And 
Just means that May is the only one on the car right now, and Fraz is going to be defending a Blickerstan, but he's so aggressive here, so is Yahoo. There is no Ubers in play right now, and because Stingham died quite late on, he is not there, no sniper presence, so much space, but Bath is against Gedu again. Oh my god, Gedu going down now, maybe the sides have turned, but I mean, yeah, you Hersha actually sort of running away from that bomb in from Jack Elixir. So I just stay alive here, which is pretty good. And uh, the cleaner comes up there onto the soldier. So they're losing a few people here. They do importantly get the car up, but not the, up the first ramp, actually. Well, up the second ramp, I should say. As there's a bit of a fight on this side area between Clark and the scout here, but they're still holding for now. Clark of the season does take down Strano in, a, in an area you'd expect maybe the pyro. Uh, Strano turning around and, and not being able to react in time. Tercy with the 100%. Um, Big bomb in from Jackie Legs. Oh, he just takes out Stingen with a single rocket. Huge play. And I was going to say, like, you know, May and Clark were only just rubbing their hands during that entire exchange earlier because everyone was dying for SCCK, but they got so much car time. That's all they wanted. And they are getting it up this second ramp now. So that second ramp is notoriously difficult. This third ramp is the one where you start to have a little more. And they actually get forced somehow. They're using Uber maybe to try and clean up car. Sandburn is in this side house area, just trying to get some pressure on Jackie Legs with the big oh! Takes down Tess oh and he gets my God. Okay, I don't need a demo, Jackie Legs says. I'm going in, boys. <laughs> he just absolutely nukes. Give me a burn inside the house with the help of Sandburn spamming from the side. That sentry now is primed to get spammed down pretty easily. I'm sure Sandburn is going to do the job of it uh, as we are reaching the Yumpels. Now, there we go. Sandburn does take down that sentry. And uh, May and Kaz are just getting that cart time, buddying up. And yeah, even Stingan says in chat, nice one, because... Um, that bomb was huge, and that may have opened things up for a huge uber push into last hit. I don't think he even, I think the gun was unwrangled, and he was that fast. I didn't have a chance to shoot him as he was coming in, so... Yeah, I mean, that, that was a sort of a magnitude of a play there, as uh, Sambo's just going to sort of walk in here uh, to pretty much easy push in there as the uh, sort of spawners are coming in right now from give me opponent. Kazza does go down for a bit, straight into the pit, <laughs> goes, goes to the, uh, Murphy, I think. He falls yeah. in, so uh, yeah, not much luck with this Uber, it seems, pushing in. They could have wanted more from that, yeah. They get a spy kill. Um, they don't really get much more out of it. Uh, you can see Clark there with the revenge crits is eager to use them. And it does look like Praz and Strenner want to retake top. Strenner goes down. And, oh, Praz was almost reclaiming the oh, territory for himself. Me. What happened? Oh. They peeked the corner, but like he's just in front of Barfins. Like he's not able to juke anyone from behind and just dies. So many people go down for Gimme Opponent. Slow's doing his best on the car. He was doing a decent job there. Killed May earlier, but now Bay's back on the car to get this uh, cap going. No problem for Capka. Strider comes onto the car though. Might try and do something with this dry, but never mind. They stay around the car. Oh, Swipes tries his best as well. 646. I mean, not the worst, but not the best either. No, I mean, uh, oh, actually, this is where the pause happened. Gedu timing out. So kind of. Uh... Lucky, um, this was where the pause happened in real time because mm. um, it means that uh, a team isn't without a medic for parts of the game. Obviously, medic is pretty important in TF2. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that bomb really opened things up and made that third push successful, but also the last push uh, a bit of a breeze. And it did feel like I thought Gimme Opponent were doing really well on the first and the second points. You know, they, they, they got forced really early on. You said it could have, couldn't have gone worse, uh, losing all of the players that they did and getting forced. But they managed to hold on for a little bit longer and got the, the force on second and setting themselves up on third. And things were going pretty well. They got the drop onto, onto Gedu. Um, but after that, it was just the flank pressure on the car, the big bombs from Jackie just opening things up. And it leads to the last two points, which normally you'd expect to get the most amount of time from, uh, to go down rather quickly. Yeah, and I really feel like their last point didn't need to be that bad either. Like they, they managed to actually kill them. Like Prazu jumped up to, to like up to tiles at the top. Mm. They dropped down. They got a few picks, but then it just didn't really work out for them in the end. After people ended up dying, but uh, yeah, this time they're on the uh, this time they're on the offense and uh, going to be starting to push this cart in and to see how they try and suck in here. Yeah, Six forty-six is the time. Six thirty left now. We just wasted 15 seconds of a little bit of cart pushing time and Stingan is actually going to take down Kaza. So this is almost mirroring what happened earlier. The aggressive sniper peeking from uh, the attacking side and no sniper on the defense does open things up a lot more space. And you can see Tertia, he's already out here. They want to push already and he takes a big rocket and they have to use the Uber quite early. 
Yeah, Mezzo tried to drop down onto him as well, but Clark is just keeping his gun on the wrangle. There goes Swipes comes in for a bit of a sap onto the gun. Gun does eventually go down. Nice pop in from Kalka here, actually, on the side uh, to try and get that damage down. We've got Asic sort of wrangling for his life as well on the side area. Barfus just using that car as cover. Samba underestimating that completely. Mezzo getting caught out by Strono as well, so it's not going as great as they probably think so. And there we go. Barfus is going to be pushing out on that car. Four go down already. No demo. Can't really spam them out. And uh, they also lose Gedu as well. Yeah, there's just this huge chase coming in right now for um, for Gimme Opponent, and then they get the car in just over a minute. And, it, you know, capturing the point and big bottle kill there from Praz onto Kaza. Look how aggressive there is. Kafka with the big bomb just going in, oh. trying to get some stuff, but he gets taken out by the sentry. Uh, Gedu only just spawning now, Buck. So they have this huge 65% advantage, which Again, he's almost mirroring what happened earlier. And SCC again, going to have to do something similar to try and maybe get the force here before that potentially leads onto a push onto them on third. Um, the difference here is it, it was much quicker by Gimme Opponent. It only took him about a minute. Yes, yeah, and getting a bit aggressive though goes down to Mezzo. Tries to go for a play onto Prazi, but doesn't manage to find it. So they do have their demo available for this push. Tertia, yeah, on 90%, like you're saying, you're gonna be coming in through the side tunnel area. Sting gonna be throwing out the Jirati as well. It's actually sacks for the Jirati throw there to try and get in even more damage with this Uber. Gonna be walking, holding W with the scout all the way in. Manages to get in so many picks down. Samba goes down, lose the pyro as well on the side of Yahoo. Uh, gonna be holding this corner for now as they're gonna try and push the cart in. But uh, yeah, I mean, no heavy means they can kind of just hold in here. That couldn't have gone worse for SCC. I mean, maybe if they'd lost Gedi, but look at them right now. They're hiding in spawn. They have to wait for the cap to go down so they can switch spawns. Gedi surviving doesn't mean that they have 100%, but Clark died there. And you can see how aggressive Bath is it's already. He's already underneath the balcony area. Kafka is going to get cleaned up by Sandburn, uh, but no sentry built by Clark. So he's going to have to make some pace here to get that built up. And you see Yahoo, Murphy, and Kaza. Those are the players that are going to have a lot of work to do. As I say that, they get covered in urine. Bath is finally gets caught out. But that sack from Stingham, that was a huge play. And that really helped them because that's why Clark died. Yeah, and delaying that NG build up on third can be pretty big to be fair, but they're quite slow pushing in here to be fair. Bath was the furthest one forwards, but like Mezzo just calmed him out immediately. Jackalix has already bombed this top area as well. And now he's sort of activated his conch, making it even harder for him to get killed here on this top area. He's just trying to spam so many people in the car here. She also comes off Mazda, so they're gonna be delaying some of these rockets, so uh makes it a bit harder for him in this UGC whitelist. Got uh, Snow from trying to push up the ramp as well. Uh Sting and opting for a bit of a trap push, and here we go, the Uber comes out. Yeah, aggressive Uber using it on the dot, which is what you got to see. Swipes is going to get the backstab. The double takes on Murphy and Kaza. A lot of people dying here. Gedu is trying to stay alive, and he has to, because this third point is going to go down with over oh, three no. minutes to go. There is a lot of there's a lot of scope here for Gimme Opponent to push this into last and get the win. Clark dies so late oh as well. Oh my god. There is going to be no sentry on last, and Gedu is, doesn't even have Uber yet. This is going to be after a passive hold from SCCK, and they're just going to have to hope that they can hold off the onslaught coming in and regroup. Oh, they lose Murphy as well. Prazu with the absolute five head trap there. No demo for this up top hold. Sting and Comnet that were going under after he threw Jirai at them. And then there we go. They're going to be up top now. But without that demo, they can't really like stay up here for too long. I mean, they have got the, they've got this Uber. They're kind of saving grace here. But I don't know, maybe a bit of complacency coming in from SDCK. I really hope that they don't get like mega sort of impatient here. And then we go, Sandman goes down as well. Force comes in. This is not looking good for SDCK. It really isn't. I mean, it's about equal in terms of players dying. Um, they're cleaning up a lot of players, but Tercio is staying alive. He has 100% Uber now. Jackie Lakes with the bomb gets a little bit of damage onto him, but it's not gonna be, actually, it's enough to get the force. They're going to push in oh, on Barthes. Yeah. The car isn't quite through the choke yet. Kaza takes down Stingen, which means he's going to have free range to just headshot those people who are trying to push. They do have the high ground here, but you know, Gimme Opponent do have... Well, they have Barthes on the high ground. Everyone else is kind of thinking about it and SDCK are trying to contest the trick. This really could go either way with less than two minutes to go. Oh, Tertius needs to stay alive here really bad. He needs to get this other Uber going. They do get Kaza though. Kaza is now. This is pretty huge. A6 was a nice short circuit damage actually through the whole team there in a the line as uh, Joseph tries to walk in here. Swipes gets stabbed as well. Giddy goes down. Three up. Sambo's pretty much the only one alive left to defend this. People on the car. Jackalix doing a huge play here. Swipe did try and fight him on the car as well. Capco comes back in. Tertius going to be trying to heal him up to try and bomb that. Sambo goes down as well to a snipe for Stingham. Barf is going to try and shoot the car as well. It's absolute chaos here. Spawners come in. Slow spawns here and Prazi opts to try and spawn camp them in the, in the spawn here. I, I'm amazed they haven't got it in yet. What is going on? 
The spawns are going to be favoring the pushing team. Strun is now on the point, which is going to be really, really hard to dish launch because he can just air blast oh people away. Oh my god! And it will be enough. Wow. I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I, I, I genuinely thought this would be relatively easy for SDC UK. Maybe a bit of complaints to come in, though. They're going to be kicking himself for that one. Jeez, uh, oh god, what, what, a, what a weird game. So that is going to be 1 0 to Gimme Opponent. They win the and map, though, I'm pretty sure, don't they? Yeah, I mean, best as far one, as yeah. we're aware, we're only playing a best of one on this map, mm. which means that Gimme Opponent will take this map. Um, both teams trading map bits. Jesus. And we'll have to go on to the third deciding map, Asheville. So. Also, the fact that there's no gun in the shutter on this version, which is the big thing compared to Coal Plant. Which... Yeah, I mean, in Europe, we, we are much more used to seeing the map Coal Plant being used, which, you know, in ETF to Well is one of the staple cloth maps. But Asheville is different in a number of different ways. Uh, you know, it has it has its advantages for some players and disadvantages for others, like you mentioned, and not having that level three will probably mean a much more faster game. I have to see is we're just waiting for the teams to ready up here. I'm just wondering whether we're going to be seeing these underneath pushes coming out from either of the sides because it's something we see on Asheville a lot more compared to Coal Plant that they've got some set strats that they want to use in this game. Yeah, I didn't know Poker was a fan of the Coal Plant pushes under, so maybe Sandburn takes a bit of a sort of a leaf off his back. I'll have to see if he does some under peaks. We are live now. This is the final map of the grand final. This is season 32 of UGC. This is the European Platinum Highlander Division. Top two teams in Europe uh, going head to head here. Murphy just uh, messing his roll up a little bit. Oh! He is on the red side and Gedu going down straight away. Jeez. The blue side, Gimme Opponent, is getting a big advantage straight away. Yeah, and uh, I mean, Stinger does go down though, so the trade bed for Sniper and uh, all the Murphy does go down in return, and there's so much damage being traded under. That came out to push underneath here as uh, May tries for something there, but isn't going to find it. But uh, yeah, got the Heavy just walking in there, managed to kill the Pyro. Never mind, Sandman has absolutely no fear after eating his sandwich and covers him with Jack Legs and kills everyone underneath. Um, so that answers my question about whether we're going to see any <laughs> underneath issues. <Yep. laughs> um, well. It's very rare you see a team kind of lose their medic that early on and somehow win, win very comfortably. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, it's not even that they won. Like, sometimes you'll see that the team that got the med pick back off just to keep their meds alive, but they lose everyone, including Tercio. So now Gedu does Ooh. have that uber advantage and Praz getting taken down by Murphy there. Um, big, uh, big kill, actually, with that trap. And uh, Sandburn hiding in the bush. Just trying to uh, keep an eye on anything going in behind, but really, really aggressive hold from SDK. They do not fear, they want to assert their presence, and they want to just say, hey, if you're going to get through this line, you have to do a lot of work. Yeah, and like, this is what this is why I hate this this side of push, from what Gimme Opponent's doing. I mean, if you've got to deal with the roof, you've got to deal with the spam, and you've got to deal with the heavy that's just going to sit on the box if your sniper isn't able to get that start on onto him through that little crack in the wall, but... Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. They're going to try and sort of get some pressure right now. So they coming to 100% as well, so I might just try and take some uh, fight in here. But I down very low, going to try and get out, but there's so much spam coming in as uh, Capcom tries to get something done. But the three down, get the force off in fairness. I like the little drive-by that came in there from Mezzo, just to take down Barthes. <laughs> yeah. thought, thought he'd escaped on low HP, but Mezzo had other things in mind. And Murphy, a couple of big kills there with that Uber. It's probably not going to be what he wanted. Didn't get the Medic, but getting enough kills just to slow things down. You look at the time. They have managed to drop oh. off a minute 15. And Praz, big backstab there um, from Mezzo. Oh, no. no demo in this Uber. Yeah, this is going to be really bad with that demo. He's going to try and dookie him with the scout, but no one really dying to this. Yahoo almost got a sneak shot there, but he's going to live for now. Big Jiraiya coming in from Kazo actually in return as uh, loads of people on the point. This is not what you want exactly as I was about to say that. This is not what you want because the soldier's going to bomb in, and as I, say, I was about to say, Jackie does exactly that. And uh, never mind, because Kazo returns the favor, clocks many kills him, but not before he manages to get the men there. Yeah, I mean, getting uh, Gedu is, is, is pretty huge. They haven't managed to get the cap. So this is still time being chalked off um, in terms of SCCK just extending their lead. Sandburn is just being very aggressive and keeps switches up, keeps switching up the position. So they never know quite where he's going to be, but it comes now and there we go. Sandburn very aggressive, gets oh, a lot yeah. of damage down onto onto uh, onto Praz and, and Bath is there. A big bomb from Jackie Legs and oh wow, Kafka is going to take down <laughs> both Kaza and Gedu. So that's a lot more like it. That's a lot more like it. 
And we do see uh, the big picks coming in. Mezzo is trying Mezzo? to get Tessio. is <laughs> so weak, but does manage to survive. But that was a costly push. I mean, they did get the cap finally, but it, they had to work for it. The immediate turnaround from Murphy just to get the 185 onto Swipes. We've got the we've got Snow coming back in with Prazzy. There's not enough people to fight them here, I don't think. They need more people. Yeah, I knew this is exactly what was going to happen. This is what happens when you try and push in without your heavy on your pyro. Soldier has a field day with your medic, and immediately Jackie gets the med pick there as uh, the point is going to very quickly turn in the favor of SCK. Let's see if they can hold on for the next 40 seconds. Um, see, Asix has been trying to build a level three. Uh, um, it gets taken down by Sandburn there, and earlier on during all of that chaos, he got taken down by Mezzo while carrying that sentry. So, as an engineer, it's very frustrating trying to build up those uh, those buildings to you know level two and above, just for them to constantly get destroyed and really have no effect. So, um, you know, not as easy Ooh. to use it. But a couple of kills coming here, Stinger managing to take down Kata. It's going to open up a lot of room uh, with no sniper to worry about, and uh, Jackie is getting aggressive here. Just going to take down Tercio with two rockets. See, notice how that's the risk as well. Barthas goes for that underplay, but they're, they're not holding on that side. There's no one for him to shoot there. So to, uh, Jackie's like, well, there's no, there's no heavy protect in the mid. I'm just going to bomb over again. And they need to respect the roof pushes in from Jackie. Like if they've got no one protecting against that soldier, he's going to have a field day. And he's already the third top scorer. So they need to do something about it. Um... I'm just speechless, just absolutely <laughs> speechless. I was just laughing at the, the, the in-game text. Uh, they oh, were saying right, let's yeah. go after the pause, but I think uh, Clark had caps lock on, so he was saying let's go. Um, <laughs> and, uh, very excited, go, you know, just very hyped up for his team taking one round here. But a spiral spy action is going to end up with Meza getting Ooh. backstabbed, and a lot of players getting taken. Tercio getting some revenge there onto Kaza with an arrow. Taking down the sniper, and that is a very convincing mid fight there. Coming in from Gimme Opponent, they will take the cap with ease. It's actually Yahoo just lurking about underneath, is uh, going to be swamped by a number of different players. Eventually, does go down. Um, Gedu survives though, Buck, so they will have uh, somewhat of a charge ready soon, but Tercy does have the advantage. I was kind of wondering what happened there. I saw Yahoo went under, but then I was right. Why did Prazu to get away with so much spam on that one side? And that <gasps> was worth backstab. It, but... Oh, never mind. Yes, Swipes comes in with the backstab to get Gedu in. Although they lose three players, but they do have heal advantage and an Uber. But they need to use here. So much spam coming over the roof here. They lose some people. It's only a par and a heavy. Not really much too much to worry about. Mezzo comes in on super speed just to get that uh, get that heavy pick. Yahoo's waiting. He might be able to find something though. He manages to leave from the shutter and uh, yeah, very quickly cleaned up there. That was all opened up by Jackie Legs. I mean, initially, there was a Wrangled Mini by Asics on the roof. He jumps in and manages to take down the Mini and take down Asics. And then later on, just now, just jumps in, manages to land the rockets, get the oh. force onto Tercio. Um, so a lot of gills are going the way of the SCCK soldier. And Macy's Prazu, he smells blood. Can he go for He does get the kill. And Tercio has to Yikes. run away. Um, yeah, just... Aggression coming out of SCCK, they don't know what they do not want give me opponent to have any moment where they're comfortable and just chilling in control of the point. Oh, there we go to the bomber from Jackie Lake. Sandburn already on the boxes again. Like they just aren't switching anything up. It's so predictable. He even peaks Prazu here. He gets him as well because he's not buffed for some reason and Sam is just not getting killed. Finally gets shot in that one side on that Stinger should use to try and kill Sandburn more often. But there we go. Tersh is coming up to that Uber and there's so much spam coming in from Murphy over the top of this roof. Couple of kills. I mean, Jackie Legs down is going to allow uh, Tercio at least to have a moment where he thinks, at least I'm not going to get bombed uh, by that soldier again. Uh, but it does want to push in. Very early. It going to be, yeah, very early pop. The British exchange on the point. Kaz is going to get the kill, and Clark with the revenge crits will take down Strono. Um, but look at Stinger just walking forward, gets the headshot onto Murphy. He's in that shutter, protected by a sentry. A lot of kills going all over the place here. Tercio is going to go down. Gedu has his life, but not very many players to keep alive. And Abath is, is being sandwiched here by Sandburn <laughs> and Jackie Lakes, but somehow yeah. escapes. This man seems to just live with that fist of steel, just running yeah. away. Um, but the crucial thing here, Buck, is SCK is still in the lead um, in terms of time, and they have an uber advantage. Oh, Sandburn looks away for one second. Bath just drops on his head, wins the heavy 1v1. But they're going to try and take this point for now. Murphy's the only one left in. Prazi taking a bit of demo 1v1 as well, loses that one. So uh, Murphy stays alive for now. As, uh, but the thing is, the, the thing that I found really co good there was the fact that Stingham was in the show for like five seconds, had that space, and they feared him, but like, he, did, he wasn't healed and the team wasn't with him, so that just shows how much pressure they can get through the show. And Tertio paying the price for staying in there. Jackalix again with the bomb and May with the cleanup. 
I mean, talking about being speechless, somehow Mezzo was the only person alive against Gimme Opponent, manages to land a couple of revolver hits onto Tercio, doesn't get the kill, cloaks. He's chased by three people and when he's three HP and they don't get a lick of damage on him. He escapes <laughs> and because he hit those revolver Ninja. shots and they were chasing the spy, Jackalis comes in and gets the kill. And because Mezzo's still alive, he manages to get another kill onto Tercio. So um, Tercio dying a couple of times in succession there. Gedu has 100% in the bank and he's going to be chilling with his team very passively. Kavka is going to jump in, gets oh, a nice no. rocket. Actually, and that's going to be the force. Um, and they're trying to block the point here. May and Murphy getting the benefit. And Tercio might get caught out what? here. Takes a big Big pipe and all oh, sting and with the headshot onto Kedu. There's just kills happening all over the place and somehow ACCK come off the worst out of that exchange. God, I was butt clenching for Tercio then. Jesus, I thought he was going to die in that shot. I was like, why are you still on the point, man? But he, was, he managed to get out and sting out with a very interesting rotation under to follow Barthes and uh, managed to get some two nice picks there. He starts to pop off a bit here, going to try and get that decent sight on, on top of the box, actually, watching over this uh, bats area as uh, Clark tries to contest him out of there. But uh, yeah, got a decent out here. He's going to get some cap time, but it is very close uh yeah big girati though big girati and uh <laughs> oh <laughs> my god snipe sting and i mean mini crits doesn't have a uh, fall off damage from range so yeah. um big jump in from jackie but this time he is going to be reflected by strono and that reflect pipe is going to hit him square in the face so uh, no bombs for the time being and tercio with 100 percent um does mean that SCC kind of have to do something here. They don't have control of the point. They don't have an Uber to work with. They Ooh. have to maybe try and do something. And Kaza going down to Kafka is not going to help them. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what I mean. Kafka taking a look out of Jacklick's book. That's what happens when you don't have any protection for your sniper. And Jacklick doing for something there. Big, actually, gun there. Mesa, level 2 coming in pretty clutch there to deny that jump. As uh, they do lose Stinghan. And this is what I mean. Like, even STCK is struggling to get a quick push in here from this side. It's because pushing them from this side when they're passive here can be very bad. Um, just have to respect the fact that they haven't really got their sniper here immediately present. And this is a big draw again. Mezzo comes in with a close backstab to get Barthes. It's all falling apart. And there we go. The big drop coming in from Tercio as well. <laughs> There are so many fluids being thrown across this map. It's, it's hard to keep up. I mean, there's Girati, there's Milk. Um, Mezzo was just like the boldest move. You know, he just uncloaks right behind Barthes, gets the kill. And um, yeah, that big drop is probably going to seal off this round. Um, Uber used on the point. That ticks it over to 0 0 0. 2 uh, 0 to the good for SCCK on this final decider map. Of course. They did win Lakeside 3-0, and you know if they do it again here, it's only really going to be that one blemish against their name of Upward. Um, give me opponent have to win the next three rounds without reply in order to win the map and therefore the title. Uh, but SCK looking strong, right? Yeah, so far so good, and uh, yeah, Murphy's trials have been going pretty big from here. Salmon to try and peek this. Why is Tercio stood so close? They're relying Barth is, on Barthes so much there. Tercio somehow manages to live. They lose four though. Getty goes down actually, which is quite surprising, but I really feel like the fight's gonna come in here. Murphy go for a bit of a play. Clock and May just chilling on the roof, just hits Gannon from that high ground as uh, Snow tries to come in. You're already trying to meet up with them, and he gets to spawn in, trying to scorch shot people down, and Mini comes out with Maysux. Bit of a bit of a long extended mid fight here, but I think eventually Gimme Opponent's gonna win it out. Yeah, Tercio going close to death, but get get taken down by Kafka. We're talking a lot about Jackie Legs' uh, bombs. As I say, oh, that, never I'm, mind. I'm about to compliment the other soldier, and then Jackie Legs just bombs in and Classic. takes down Tercio. He's about 93%, so close to getting that Uber, but you know, oh. not enough. And technically, well, big damage coming from everybody. Mezzo's already on a three kill streak. Technically, this is still the mid fight back because Gimme Opponent didn't actually capture the point, so yeah, um, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, the sum total of that is uh, SCCK winning the mid fight with an Uber advantage. Yeah, Samba just comes back in from the spawn, and the people who were capping before just couldn't do anything because he was just holding W key. He didn't have to worry about the sniper for a few seconds. And uh, yeah, now they got a massive add on Gedu. And also, like, Mezzo has just had a huge game so far. He's, like, the thing is with the revolver on this map, if you can use it right, he's just so much damage, especially when you got these uh, Gerardis being thrown left, right, and center. But eventually, he does go down here. But 100% uh, for Gedi right now, thinking about coming in. They do actually opt for a bit of a different push for once, but now they're facing the Wrath of uh, Clark's Mini on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> the Wrath of the Wrangled Mini. And Stingan is trying so hard to uh, to maybe get an angle or something. But he keeps getting hit by those flares. And because he's not running what you would need to have to what you run the Danger Shield to give you that fire resistance, he's running the Jurati, so he's just taking fire damage, has to wait for a buff to get rid of the uh, the damage over time, and just cannot get any sort of space 
Paz. Yahoo is just flinging those flares across the point, just being annoying. He's doing it again on the other side now. And uh, a minute chalked off already for SCCK. They're inching ever closer here to uh, winning this map. And yeah, equal loopers now. This is time for Gimme Opponent to shine. This is time for them to step up and show what they can do to try and win this round. I can't measure just single-handedly distracted like their entire team for 20 seconds there. It's pretty insane, just on the dead ringer, just vibing in the battle lines, but eventually goes down again. But nice type, uh, stuff from Swipes. Samburn sort of taking some punishment there from Swipes, is camping him on that box, it seems. But yeah, decent amount of spam coming in over that corner, and uh, yeah, this Uber's kind of being traded, but having to flash a lot here on the side of Gimme Opponent, but eventually STCK does go down. Yeah, they got a really good force there onto Degu, um, and they just had to... They just had to wait, and then when they got forced, they just move across. Better players, or should I say more players, and uh, better space. They're able to just clean up and get the cap for the first time in this round. Uh, they have over a minute and a half to try and catch up here, but with a slim uber advantage and a full quotient of players, it should be possible. Mezzo is lurking around. Can he get a stab? No, manages to uh, get found out there by Bath is. And uh, big bomb in from Jackie X gets a decent oh amount God. of damage again. The spam's coming over from Murphy. But Tercio does stay alive. <laughs> the double rocket at the end there from Capcom just before he dies to take out the flank. But uh, yeah, loads of people just dying in the combo here from giving me opponent you have to try and leave as a... Uh, yep, yeah, sort of... This is not a spam on that corner, I feel like. Sambo's just having a whale of a time just peeking these boxes and probably goes down quite early on there from peeks. I think demos get caught out by quite a lot. It's having like a little respect for the heavy trying to peek the box, but... Uh, Seems to make it work as it's even Ubers right now, and uh, they, again they try for this sort of, uh, balcony side. Yep, they're trying to get uh, Stingan into a position to maybe get an angle, but he's just oh. getting spammed. He takes a again. couple of shots there from May, yeah, and Samban's on the point. So no he, respect. He, he gets he gets Praz as well. They drop Praz out of this Uber. Samba just being so aggressive, and you see where he is now, back in a position to defend and receive the Uber, and just. Then we push forward, you know, that's the thing about being a heavy these days. You don't want to be playing, you know, heavy, uh, sorry, heals heavy. You want to be playing in a position where you can maybe try and get a kill, get some pressure down, and then be in a position to regroup later on. And uh, Sandburn's been doing that to a T, returning to the side in Posca's absence. Big jump in from Kafka is going to get a rocket onto Gedu, and uh, there is going to be a kill onto... A number of people here, Tercio is going to go down to May. that may be it. They have no heals, they've got four plays down here, Buck. Time yeah. is running out. Jackie Lakes just comes in for the collapse as well. Just some spam shots from A6. Geddy's oh. just laughing at him on 12 health across the point. <laughs> just doesn't care at all, but... I don't know, this game was pretty much just summed up by a lack of disrespect for Sandburn on the point. Like, you need to kill that heavy, you need to get spammed out or sniped or stabbed or just anything really. And also, there's Mezzo putting in the work with the revolver. And... I would say a pretty commanding win coming out of SCCK, but that win on Upward did put things on a knife edge for a moment. And maybe a yep. platform for, for next season, I'm sure we'll be seeing both of these teams coming back to, to fight it again. Uh, but that is enough from us tonight. Thank you for joining myself. Buck and Archer Rhythm. Um, thank you to both teams for putting on a great show. SCCK, congratulations for winning another Platinum title in UGC Gimme Opponent. Commiserations, but there is always next season. We will have more games for you coming up in the future. I believe there is going to be more Highlander at some point. We do have plenty of social media for you to follow us on. Discord, Twitter, and of course you could give us a follow on Twitch to know when we go live and we have casts from all around the world. There is also plenty of merch available if you do want to support all of the funds that you get from, uh, we give rather from merch and subscribing, go to supporting the casters and the production team who managed to put on all of these shows. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi, old beaver! Away!